Culture Clash now, a must on the Brazier programme, and police force in the north of England is trying to discourage children from trick or treating this Halloween because of COVID-19. South Yorkshire police have produced a poster. Residents can print out and put in their window saying, no trick or treaters, with the picture of a silhouetted pumpkin crossed out, rather like a no entry sign. The police force said this year our communities will be celebrating Halloween and bonfire night differently. Organised events have been cancelled due to COVID-19 and trick or treating is being discouraged. Well, the poster has been widely mocked on social media, being branded as a killjoy. We have the chief political writer for Spiked, Brendan O'Neill, to talk about this and a little bit more as well now. Um, as night follows day, Brendan, this was going to happen. But do you understand at all where the police in Yorkshire are coming from? Uh, I'm afraid I don't, actually. And the idea that COVID-19 is a risk from a kid knocking on a door and standing in front of someone for 10 seconds to take some sweets of them, I mean, that just seems a bit of a stretch. That doesn't seem to me to be the kind of situation in which COVID-19 might spread and in which disease might take hold. I think there is a strong element of killjoyism here. You know, we are coming, we are getting over the pandemic. We have a hugely vaccinated population. We have growing herd immunity. Community. I think now is the time for us to relax and for kids to enjoy something like Halloween so that they can get back to normal life post lockdown. Well, that, the point that you make about herd immunity was, funnily enough, was the first point that crossed my mind when I read this story, because it is known that kids can be carriers, um, but yeah. are unlikely to become ill. But as car in a sense... So if they're carriers, they could be boosting herd immunity quite safely. Yeah. So, so trick or treat should be encouraged, not banned. <laughs> Not a bad idea at all. You know, send kids out as much as possible to spread their germs, you know, as kids always have done. But I think the, the key point here is that, uh, you know, lots of people have raised the question of what the police are up to. You know, surely the police have better things to do than to talk about trick or treat, trick and treat and to encourage people to stay at home on Halloween. For example, they could be clearing insulate Britain protesters off the roads and allowing people to get on with their lives. They could be investigating burglaries, they could be looking into knife crime. There are huge issues of crime and disorder in this country that the police should be focusing on rather than killing joy on Halloween. Well, you know, you will remember as well as I do that drones were sent up to film people in the uh, Lake District mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and they accepted that they were wrong. I mean, if it came from Sage or someone else, we might just take it a little more seriously, but from the police, I think not. Um, we've got a few minutes left and I, I, I said in the introduction, Brendan, we were going to talk about that, which we have done, parked had a fascinating conversation with Peter Tatchell, who said on transphobia uh, and what happened down at Sussex University, Tatchell said we need a calmer and more profound debate. He didn't say it's a slam dunk, you must agree with me, we need a debate. Your thoughts on that? I think what's happened to Kathleen Stock at Sussex University is an absolute disgrace. This has been a witch hunt. She has been treated as a witch. And in fact, one of the groups that has hounded her and, and argued that she should be thrown off campus, they responded to her resignation by saying, ding dong, the witch is dead. This was a highly intolerant, censorious, misogynistic campaign to punish a professor simply because she believes in biological sex and she thinks same-sex attraction and women's sex based rights are important things for us to talk about. This really shows the growth of an extreme intolerance in the trans movement, unfortunately, and Brendan, women Brendan, are bearing gonna, the brunt of it. We're going to have to leave it there, but thanks for those thoughts, Brendan and Neil.